So functional endoscopic sinus surgery is a surgical procedure that's reserved for individuals who are not going to be able to be cured with minimally invasive sinus surgery. The general objective of surgery is to improve one's sinus drainage pathways. With this particular procedure, instead of just undergoing a simple balloon dilation procedure, what patients are having done is they're actually having small pieces of bone and soft tissue removed that surround the sinus openings and restrict their outflow. This particular surgery is a little bit more invasive than the traditional in-office type surgeries that we offer patients. And it's reserved for patients who have really severe chronic sinus infections, nasal polyps, and chronic nasal obstruction. When we do the surgery, it typically takes anywhere from 60 to 90 minutes, and we do use the latest in image guidance surgical techniques to get patients through the surgery. Most of our patients that we treat here at Capital Otolaryngology can be fixed with minimally invasive sinus surgery, aka balloon sinoplasty. On occasion, individuals can't be fixed with a simple in-office type techniques and we have to take them to the operating room for a more invasive type surgery. Um, again, this is used for individuals that uh, fail minimally invasive surgery or have some other type of sinus issue like nasal polyps or really, really bad chronic sinus infections. Functional endoscopic sinus surgery is a surgical technique that's been around for several decades. One of the differences in the way that it's done now is that patients no longer have painful packing placed in the nose that needs to be removed in the office. So it's a lot easier for patients to get through that more intimidating type of surgery with more advanced surgical technique. One of the most common reasons why we see people here at Capital Otolaryngology is for chronic sinusitis. So we are very highly experienced surgeons when it comes to getting patients treated with the appropriate surgical techniques.